Hi, Hiya, my name's Bernie. I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a review on the speed skim and just to go over how I use the speed skim, how I fitted it into my, uh, to my working day and how much easier it is to use than just troweling up all the time and you don't really need to. I find that I don't have to do a metal trowel anymore. Well, I do a dry metal trowel but I don't do a wet metal trowel um, which cuts the time down and also saves you your arms and your shoulders and you still get a nice shine on it as well. I find like if you do um, the wet metal, you know, it does shine it up that little bit more but you know it does leave some slight tiger marks and things like that but I find you, you don't really need to use that and you get just a nice shine on it as it is. So thank you very much for watching and um, I like to see more of the speed skim uh, videos as there's not many on YouTube and it's, it's good to see how everybody else fits it into the working day as well. Cheers, bye. Right, so that's my first coat on and I've just given it a flatten with the uh, speed skim. Now I'm just about to put my second on. So there's my second coat on and I've just given it the first speed skim. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it for a minute then I'm going to metal trowel it just to get the little nooks and crannies and then what I do is I do a wet speed skim and then two plastic trowels and I'll show you the end product. Right so there you go, there's my finished wall and my speed skim. So let me just refresh what I did. Put the first coat on, flattened it with the speed skim, left it for a while, put the second on, flattened it with the speed skim, then went over it with my uh, Marshall Town metal trowel just to get all the little nooks and crannies. Then what I did was I did a wet trowel with the speed skim and then two wet trowels with the plastic trowel. And I haven't got one of those um, posh Rafina trowels. I've just got one of these old school Spanish uh, plastic trowels. Only because um, that's just what we've been using for a while. Um, and speed skim really does cut down when you're trialling up and things like that so it does, uh, you do feel it on your old uh, shoulders and arms so being a woman that's uh, it's quite good and I'll, uh, I'll just show you the drying out products so you can see it's quite shiny I think sometimes you can get it too shiny um, this gets it just right to be fair so you can get that yeah it's a nice shine on that this is the uh, room that's dry now at the minute it's really good so i don't think i'll be without my uh, speed skin now let me touch it it's really smooth there you have it that's my little review and how i sort of do things with the speed skin Everyone's different, each to their own. Some people still like to do a metal trowel. I mean, it does shine it up that little bit more. But as I say, to save you, you know, troweling up all the time, you don't really need to do the wet metal, I found. So there you go. Thank you very much.